Hello and thank you for stopping by. This is a video that demonstrates a couple design methodology for floating offshore wind turbines with Bentley Moses. This method comprises of three steps. In the first step we work in Moses Modeler, an interactive environment where the structure of plates and hydrodynamic panels are created from primitive geometries. Primitives can be copied as many times as needed. Ultimately, the model contains panels and tubular members defined from imported nodes we have put in a spreadsheet. Our dedicated interface allows one to copy and paste the input data to expedite this phase. Here you can see how the class definitions and the markers needed for defining the cross braces are given in a tabular format. Optionally, one may also define member offsets and member orientation if necessary. When the geometry is ready, we save this model in MOSES format for step 2. In step 2, we import our model in MOSES executive. To define the mooring line first, the node at which the aerodynamic effects from the turbine will be applied, as well as a system mass. Next, we build the hydrodynamic database and may wish to calculate added mass and dumping coefficients or other rel hydrodynamic related output. After the hydrodynamics are computed, we can define the environmental conditions in analysis duration. Optionally, one may wish to calculate the response operators to get a better understanding of motions. Once all this is over, the aerodyne driver file that controls the aerodynamic analysis is brought in with the appropriate option. This is needed as soon as the time domain analysis starts. Output will vary depending on the study, but popular results include the system motion, the catenary forces, as well as the forces supplied to the hub node. The load cases created from the time series can be defined and later called for post-processing. In the final step, we launch MOSES Proceed from within MOSES Executive. In this step, a common solution file has been created and we simply read its contents with the load cases generated earlier. Post-processing can be done on structural plates and tubular members for a specific code of practice chosen by the user. Loading the output for a load case takes no more than a few seconds and the rendered image contains both results for tubular members as well as plates. Results can easily change for the appropriate load case with the desired output at the time. In this example, we choose to plot the cross brace utilization ratio with the plate equivalent stress. We also show how to get the same results for load case 3. Limitless results combinations can be made by the user. The design is to change if the structure is found not to comply with the code of practice.